Good morning. Welcome to Audacious Devotionals. I'm Robbie Torres Howarth, and my wife and I serve at Youth at Central Campus. And today I'm going to talk about God in the workplace. Uh, and my topic is generosity. Um, as it's about the workplace, I'll give you some background into mine. Uh, so I'm an architect. I used to work commercially with upwards of 100 people plus per office and now I work domestically within a very small team so I've operated and I have experience in kind of both opposite ends of the spectrum of the culture of offices in architecture but still. Um, I'm going to focus on Genesis 12 uh, verses 1 to 4, I'm not going to read them all out. Um, but for context, uh, God has promised Abram that his obedience will be blessed and that a great nation will come from a 75-year-old man and his barren wife. Um, so in verse 2, it says, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you and I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. Um, my first point from this is that, that you are blessed and that you will be a blessing, essentially, you are blessed to be a blessing. And I think that's amazing. Um, but not only that, verse 3 says that I will bless those who bless you. It's just blessings. Everything is blessings. Blessings all around. Um, and also in Hebrews 13, verse 16, it says, Actively seeking to bless someone is an act of generosity and it pleases God. So why would you why would you not want to do this? Um, my second point is that generosity, it doesn't need to be money. I know the money is the obvious one, but it could also be time. Time is a precious commodity because it's not limitless. It is limited and we only have so much of it on this precious earth. It could be volunteering. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with this one. And if you're not, I, I encourage you to join a team at church. Um, it could be donations, um, so charity is the obvious one, but also to friends and family. Maybe it could be offering items that friends or family or people have remarked on that they like and maybe you feel inclined to give them. Uh, it could be food uh, with friends or neighbours or just noticing people might need a break from cooking once in a while and being that service for them. Uh, it could be applying your ne unique skill sets. Um, it could be helping a friend move for instance, because you know you can pull the heavy weight, maybe they can't, or offering your larger car because theirs is quite small and they could fit more in it. So guys, it's not all about money, right? Um, point three is that how can we be generous to our colleagues? Um, so things like thoughtful gifts, so I know there's a money element involved in that, but it's the thought behind it, isn't it? Uh, it could be a lending ear. It could be remembering personal points and asking them about them the next time you see them, uh, which shows that you care. Um, it could be offering help when they need it, especially if it's outside of your job description. Uh, and it could also be doing the breakout cleanup, even though it's not your mess. And for those of you who work in larger offices, I'm sure you all know about that one. Um, my personal application is that I, I personally actively seek to be generous to those around me. Um, I actually actively look for ways to be generous, not only to my colleagues, but my community. And I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on that. Um, I have these two ministries that I call my gym ministry and my neighborhood ministry. Um, when we first started going to the gym that we go to, uh, no one spoke to each other in the morning, not even the receptionist said hello. And I was like, I said to Kia, my wife, I was like, I'm changing this culture. I do not like it. So it, it was a lot of very awkward, hi, good mornings to people that didn't want to have a hi, good morning from a very, um, you know, overly energetic person such as myself. Uh, but yeah, and maybe the people who were working out at first, it would just be like a polite nod. And then the next time you see them, it would maybe be a, a hello. And then, and then maybe I'd make up slash genuinely also ask for some information if they were doing something and uh, just to kind of, you know, start that conversation. Cause it's not really about the answer is it? It's about getting in there, getting personable with people. And similarly, uh, with my neighborhood ministry, you know, none of the neighbors really spoke to each other. And, you know, it maybe took some little gifts like um, Halloween donuts uh, from Krispy Kreme being delivered to their houses. 
or, or maybe a little exchange when you've overmade a batch of cookies, you know, oh, I've got so many, I don't want to eat them all, would you mind? Uh, it just gets you talking, doesn't it? Or maybe, for, you know, all the hours I spend in my garden at the front, uh, not ignoring people that walk past me and actually looking up every single time someone walks past me and saying hello. Uh, and then you start to have conversation, don't you, about about things. Uh, and now we've got an amazing neighbourhood ministry. Uh, I had a neighbour the other day who'd just been shooting. Yes, we live in the country. Uh, and he just came around with a partridge for me to cook and eat that he plucked and gutted and all that. Sorry for the vegetarians. Um, which I just thought was lovely. Uh, and at the gym now, everyone says hello. Even the receptionists say hello in the morning, which is amazing. And I just I feel like, you know, there's the, a the ministry in that, right? Um, the fruit of my labour is that I know from experience that being generous to my colleagues, generous with my time, generous with my skill sets, etc. It's a surefire way to, to gain access to their hearts, right? And once we're in their hearts, we can begin to let God work like through us and in them. Um, I have colleagues all over the world that talk to me about my faith. Um, some of them have even been pointed to churches like ours. I've pointed them to churches like ours in their local areas. Um, they're all over the world because, you know, maybe I went to university with them and they've moved back to their home countries or I, I work with them and they're now elsewhere doing architecture. Um, and they actually do, you know, they, they talk to me about my faith. They remember that aspect about me and it's amazing. And my hope is that even though many of my colleagues throughout my life so far have not turned to Jesus yet, um, that I've left a lasting impression with them. Who knows what seeds that you plant that God can water. Um, so my prayer today for you is that I pray that you have a generous day. Uh, I pray that God gives you an opportunity or a way in which to be more generous. Uh, that you don't treat every day like a work day, but you actually look for how God might be working in it and through it. Um, and that God works in your colleagues' hearts ahead of you coming so that they may receive his love through you and through your generosity. Um, and that God blesses your commitment to be generous and waters the seeds to, that you plant in him. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, church. I really hope that you look for an opportunity to be generous today. Um, and I hope that God reveals the fruit of your labour and you can see what your generosity is doing in the people that you're being generous to. Bye.